Now, tonight the dates are set, and the Senate is working on the articles of impeachment. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa will face Senate's plenary, or what we call the Committee of the Whole House, during the impeachment hearing that begins on Wednesday and ends on Thursday of next week. Earlier in the day, a move to set up an 11-member committee flopped after missing a seconder to that motion. This coming just a few hours after the National Assembly approved the motion to remove Kashagwa as a deputy president by way of impeachment after 282 members of the National Assembly supported the move and the resolution on the same communicated to the Speaker of the Senate, Amazon Jeff Akingi. To survive, Gashagwa must secure the support of at least 23 senators to block that motion. That is the way to survive it. KTN's Daniel Kariuki kicks off our first hour with this update. All full directives of the county government. Motion sponsored by Kibwezi West Member of Parliament, Mwengi Mutuse, was overwhelmingly voted in the National Assembly. If a motion under clause one is supported by at least two-thirds of all members of the National Assembly, the Speaker shall inform the Speaker of the Senate of the resolution within two days. Leave the Chamber, Senator Ombu. In just a few hours after the vote, Speaker of the National Assembly communicated the resolution to Senate Speaker Amazon Kingi. The Senate expected to determine Deputy President Rigadi Gashag was fit within 10 days. I have directed that this matter be heard within two days. Once we see the documentation and the list of witnesses, and it becomes obvious that we cannot conclude this matter within two days, we have Friday. If Gashagwa hoped for a special committee meeting, then he will have to brace himself for the plenary after Senate turned down a proposal to reconstitute an 11-member special committee to prosecute the impeachment. The proposal was moved by Majority Leader Aaron Cheriot, but was, however, not seconded by the minority. I want to invite the Senator for Nairobi, Senator Edwin Watenya Sifuna, to second this motion. Given the mood of the House and especially on the minority side, I respectfully decline to second that motion. The motion having been deemed to be withdrawn, pursuant to Standing Order 71, the proposal for a special committee is defeated. The Senate will therefore proceed with the investigation of the proposed removal from office by impeachment of His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa EGH, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, in plenary. Senators, however, raised concern if Wednesday and Thursday next week were enough days to execute the case. Considering the immense, would it be in order to request that, as per your direction, you increase even an extra day? There wasn't so much attention on the proceedings in the National Assembly. A lot of people saying, let's wait for this matter to go to the Senate. One thing I want to assure the country is the Senate is going to do justice in this matter. Meanwhile, all senators have been temporarily barred from traveling out of the country pending the Senate's determination of Deputy President Rigati Gashagwa's impeachment. Daniel Karioki, KT News, at the Parliament Buildings, Nairobi.